What's the whiteboard? I gotta, you gotta fucking check everything in this goddamn game. Even if you wouldn't think so. And, like... The next worst part is that, like, I'm, like, walking way slower than I was before. <laughs> and the game was already slow, so it's just like, Oh, were you thinking about breezing through this game with impunity? Well, don't worry about that, because we're gonna slow you right down. Wait, what did that say? How did that monster get out of here? Because he's fucking impossible to understand! And he's a bullshitter! Obviously, driving like six hours away from him didn't stop him. What makes you think locking him in a room is gonna stop him? Is there any more boxes that I need to unlock? Any more passwords to get? Doesn't seem like it. Whose room is this? Cindy Peterson? I already got her thingy. <sighs> I got her number. Oh, look. Well, not only is he fucking, like, phenomenally powerful, but he's like... Wait, 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 hold on, back up one second. He locked him in the room, and then, like, he was on the first floor and got choked out, and he's like, I just need to get out of you. I'm gonna have to persuade D to leave. It's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. So now it's the quest for the D. Okay, well, uh, if you just, <laughs> I don't even have a joke for that. So, there's like no permanence for the monster at all, he just only shows up when the game wants him to, so, basically go wherever I want. So now I just gotta look for the D, which is, uh, not something I prefer to look for. I'd rather get as far away from D as possible. Uh, D stands for Doug. He's not in here. Unless he's like in a fridge somewhere. Which would be funny. Because <laughs> that'd mean he'd be dead. Uh, so what, what do I even talk about? Fire extinguisher. Wow! That's great. I, I should like uh, get the fire extinguisher. And then put my face in it, and just like, with my face right in it. How long do you think it'd take for me to suffocate? Books on comparative jurisprudence. Jurisprudence. He's not in here. Why would he be in the room with all the knowledge, the fucking idiot? No, he's probably in the fucking computer room playing fucking Club Penguin or some shit. Let me just, uh, slip into something more comfortable. Becomes a watermelon. Why oh, is that so funny? <laughs> There's no reason for that to be funny, but it's, like, hilarious. Becomes a watermelon. <laughs> I want a soda. The vending machines don't work. Oh, bust it open. So wait, like, they just left all the sodas in? They abandoned this place, but nobody took the sodas. Okay. You know, I bet he's in the lecture hall. I'll listen to, like, his porn from earlier. I bet. I put money on it. I bet you a hundred dollars. This is the room where I was almost killed. But not killed. What 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 there's what the fuck really like why would he like have his hands around my neck and just be like <laughs> Nah I changed my mind I don't feel like it anymore I'm sorry So I'm like combing and sweeping this place looking for a ghost man What if D's just a figment of my imagination? That would be that would be shitty. He's just a reflection of my unrequired, unrequited uh, desires. Serves as a metaphor. Like, you gotta, if you wanna, you can do whatever you want as long as you're not a big dumb idiot. Basically, is like the message I'm supposed to be taken from them. Okay, I can't go in there. Where the fuck is D at? Did he say where he'd be? Oh, the door's unlocked. The air feels kind of heavy. Uh, I'll stay out. And then save, because 
I'm walking way too slow to just go and do stuff over and over again. So I'll go in. The air feels heavy. Oh shit, he's gonna fucking die. Hey, this song gave me a copyright notice. I just want to let you know that, like, uh, the game put this song in, and I got a copyright notice from it, so that puts me in trouble for the game just, like, being like, Hey, you, you, you stole this. I'm like, no, I didn't. I didn't steal this. I would turn it off if I could. Hey, D, what's wrong? Get up. Oh, my head. I feel like crap. <laughs> Now that you mention it, it's a little hard to breathe. It's probably because all the fucking noxious fumes you're huffing and puffing away in. What's going on here? <clears throat> it's gas. Huh. The floor is leaking gas. You gotta get out. Got it. D, get up and lean on my shoulder. Put your head on my shoulder. Oh, that's a creepy laugh. It's here. Grr. Not gonna let us go. Never gonna give us up. Never gonna let us down. Crap. The gas is pouring in. I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. Well, how do you know it's not friendly gas? So I have two minutes. Can't save. Got an iron pipe. Oh, okay, so I can smoke some weed. A box, it won't open. Um, a breaker. Yeah, can we, uh, can I actually crowbar this open? I didn't think so. What about this? I'm just gonna crowbar everything. Crowbar is a verb, as well as a noun. wandering around. Is it trying to keep us up? What do I do? It's sink or swim. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the room. Oh. Okay. That's... that's nice. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> God damn. Uh, why not just leave the door open? Let some of the fumes, like, dissipate. I should use a lighter and blow myself up. That'd be funny. <laughs> I'm assuming that the fumes are flammable. They have to be. All all gases are flammable. Aren't they? They have to be, don't they? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's what it sounds like for those who can't hear them. So I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. Okay, it does nothing. The hammer. Um. Uh, let's read. Okay, that didn't do anything. Got an iron pipe. Maybe I'll stick that in the breaker. Stopping the coffee. You fucking kidding me. What does the item description say? A short iron pipe. A break. Okay, maybe something in the box. What's in the box? Break it open. Open it! Don't open it! Okay, so none of those three things works. Um. I don't know. What's in the jungle beats? There's a little window up there, but there's no way I could fit in there. What do you mean? What happened to the numbers? Why don't you open up the window so you don't get poisoned? Destroy with pipe? Oh, it's a puzzle. What was the point in that? Was I supposed to push those? Never mind. Alright, I'm just gonna wait this out. Maybe it's one of those puzzles. Cause you remember in Final Fantasy VI when you had to like wait for Shatter to like catch up to you? Like there was like a timer and you had to wait till the last second for Shatter to pop up. 
and if you uh, left before the timer was at like five seconds, he died. But if you just waited, he he would be safe. And that was annoying to find out like way afterwards. So like, yeah, I guess I'm dead. Do I really have two minutes to figure this out? I should like save like right at like one second so that the save is broken and I never have to play this game again. Okay, so I don't know, maybe I just leave. Oh. So I guess I do just die. <laughs> God damn it. This is like the worst part of the whole game. Oh, there's a little secret. Yeah, tear down the wall. Uh, use the hammer. Okay. I figured it out. I think. <clears throat> oh, I'm not done yet. Stop stopping the cough. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill you if you die in here. But the doors won't open. Oh, well, you gotta crowbar them open, obviously. Hey! Figured it out. It's a good thing I brought these tools with me. I wonder what I would do if I didn't bring the tools with me. I can go up through the door and the ceiling. Yeah! I am gonna suffocate in here. You know that, right? Come on, really? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so I still have over a minute and 40 seconds left. That's like the ugliest hammer cracking sound I've heard. It's like... <laughs> Stop coughing. Stop it! Alright, so maybe I won't die like a fucking asshole this time. What is he climbing on? Is that a ladder? I can't see in this fucking smoky ass maze. Hey, I made it. Cool. So... I... <laughs> Wait... David's fucking amazingly strong. If he carried D all the way up that ladder after like fucking like doing like Home Depot dis demolition derby on the walls and the elevator door in 30 seconds. So we gotta go to the infirmary. Please don't make me walk there. Okay, thank you. D, are you sure you're okay? You don't want to go to a hospital? What if you got poisoned? <laughs> I'm fine. Head hurts like hell, and I feel gross, but I'll get better. Thanks, dude. I'd be screwed without you around. I owe you my life. No, the only thing you owe me is another energy drink. That is all I require in payment. There's a water storage in the basement, and once I heard about it leaking gas, only just remembered that now. It was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure, but I think there was a dispute over the property, so the school moved and this got abandoned. I see. But you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. Shh, shut up. I just sort of forgot, okay? Man, to think all this happened when I just came here to relax. So wait. What, that, you said that was the reason that the school shut down? So on your way here to the shutdown school, you weren't thinking about why the school got shut down? You fucking jackass. Should have just stayed at home studying. It's good to get a breather, sure, but just not in abandoned ruins, okay? That's really something, though. You're still studying three whole years after you graduated. Well, I always wanted to be a lawyer. Ever since I was a kid... No matter what, I will be a lawyer. So I kept studying, and I still do. And there's no changing my mind. I see. But you're awesome yourself, climbing the elevator while carrying me. You're buffer than you look. Yeah, I mean, fuck. You should have gone to muscle man school, David. You would have been like fucking top of your class. 
Oh, well, I did go to Muscle Man School. You know who else went to Muscle Man School? My mom! <laughs> Serious. That's awesome, you and your mother. Really can't judge a book by its cover, eh? <laughs> but anyway, once you get out of here already, it's all kinds of dangerous here, and I'm not looking after you anymore. I know, I know. Well, if it was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted, I'll just rest here a little while and go. You do that. I'll be going. Is that is that the arc? Is the arc over? Hey, hey, get out! Gross, man! You mean other people can exist in this game at the same time? Can I just go now? Oh, hey, uh, wait a second, after I just told you to get out. You dropped something. Here, you... You... Wait. Wait, what? Uh, this looks like Professor An- Uh-oh. He's gonna, he's gonna commit suicide. Why do you have this? Hey, uh, wait, don't read that. Huh? Dreamer, the grade, he'll always get. Hey, what's this about? This is how he really felt? But you supported me. You said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me! Kermy? <laughs> hey, uh, D, calm down. Oh, so he's got the turbo fast movements too. Wasn't he just fucking dying? And now he's like Usain Bolt? D. Ugh, that guy. He's in no condition. And that monster is bound to find him. No, he'll just fucking. I'd like to see those two race, actually. That's really what this game is about, is just a foot race between the two fastest people alive. So now I gotta find the D again. Just wasn't enough. That's great. Always looking for the D. Got some cool music playing, though. Where the fuck would he have gone this time? Probably to Robinson's room to, like, piss on his computer. How dare you play Angry Birds and shit on me about my grades? You don't fucking talk to me about that shit, you motherfucker. You fucking give me a D, I'll give you the D. This isn't the room. Why did <laughs> Why D, though? That's so weird. Really? Where did he go? Why don't we just take out some other part of his diary that that says he's like a blatant homosexual and drop that and then D will find him like, oh, well, I guess it's not that bad. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse, I guess. <laughs> now that I find out he's a blatant homosexual, it really doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. This music does sound cool, though. I did turn the volume down in the game. Because I noticed until, like... Well, I didn't notice until, like, way later that it was, like, blatantly loud. But now that I know... It, now that I know, I turned it down. So hopefully it's not, like, still too loud or way too quiet. Uh, so maybe we go to the lecture hall again? Maybe he actually went down to the death basement and he's like, You want to save me from killing myself? Well, and then tell me some terrible news right after I almost kill myself, now I'll really kill myself. And I'm like, okay, I guess if that's what you want to do. Where the f He didn't say where he was going. Or maybe he did, and I accidentally skipped it. <clears throat> but I, I, don't, I don't have enough monologue stored up to, to convey me through hours of searching, so hurry up, game. The basement is probably full of gas! And I'm sure that monster's there. I don't think I should... How, what, what do you mean you're sure he's there? He teleports all the time. 
he could be anywhere. He could be in the soda machine, taking all the Snickers. You know, he's a monster, and he almost got po well, he didn't get poisoned, but he probably wants a snack. It'd be funny. I should give him a Snickers, cause you know they say you're not you when you're hungry. Maybe he like turns into just a regular guy. He's just like, oh, what do you know? Turns out I turn into a homicidal crooked neck maniac who strangles people almost all the way when I'm kind of hungry. Thanks for the Snickers. You have saved countless lives. <laughs>